Thank you so much for spending time with me in this teaching. I would like to share with you the heart of God in my heart. The Lord loves you so much. He wants to feed you with the spiritual food, and He wants to train you to be His disciple. This is why God asked me to produce many teachings in different series that cover different aspects of life. Please subscribe to our channel. Listen to every series, every teaching in each series. You will learn how to walk with God. You learn different things in your life, and you shall be strong. You shall be successful. You shall be blessed and be the blessing to the nations. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm so blessed and delighted to be with you in this clip to pray with you, praying the promises of God. We believe in the power of prayer. We believe that God is faithful. He gave us a lot of promises in the Bible. And when we pray according to His will or according to His promises, we will see the result. We can approach God boldly at His throne. We can ask Him for His favor, His grace, and mercy. Let us read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20 together. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. So we're going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And through Him, through Jesus, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. We believe Jesus has bought all the blessing for us at the cross. He paid the price. He shed His blood. He died on the cross. The blood of Jesus poured out on the ground. He paid for us. Therefore, we say Amen because Jesus Pay for us. And when we receive the answer to our prayer, we will give glory to God. There's nothing impossible with God. Luke chapter 1, verse 37 says, For with God, nothing is ever impossible, and no word from God shall be without power or impossible of fulfillment. Wow, God said, Nothing is impossible with God. Our job is to believe, to speak open our mouth to call to God to pray by faith, to believe and to quote the scriptures, to call to God and remind Him of His promises. Joshua 21 verse 45, Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel, including to the house of God today, to the children of God. And all came to pass. All the promises of God came to pass. Let us read the promise of God in Psalm chapter 34 together. And we're going to pray according to the promises of God. Psalm chapter 34 verse 7 say, The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Let us pray that God send his angel to protect us. We have the fear of God in our heart. We hate sin. We want to obey the King of all kings, that is the Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and the angel will deliver us from all harms, from all the arrows of the enemy, from the attack of the enemy, from the pestilence, from famine, from poverty. Father, I pray with my brother and sister right now that you send your angel to protect us, to deliver us, to help us, Lord, we promise you all the days of our life, we're going to walk in fear, in, not in the fear of man, not in the fear of the problem, but we're going to fear you. We will hate sin, hate pride and arrogance and perverse mouth. We love you. We want to obey you, Lord, and we believe the angelic protection and deliverance will happen in our life on a regular basis, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Men. Psalm 34, 6 to 7. This poor man, I mean the person who repent and who come to God and ask God for help, cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. That is from New King James Version. Look at another version. 
This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. Let us pray together that the Lord will help us and answer our prayer. The Lord will take care of us and deliver us from all difficulties and attacks of the enemy and hardships. Father, we pray together that you are the deliverer. You are the rescuer. You will help us be crying out to you, Lord. My brother and sister may be facing right now some difficulties, some problems in their life. You rescue them. You deliver them. You help them to come out from the big problem in their life. You give them victory. We pray and believe. You move your mighty hand. You show up in their life and you fight the battle for them, Lord. Give them victory, Lord. In Jesus' name, sickness have to leave. Poverty have to leave. The attack of the enemy must be gone. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 34, verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Yes, we're going to fear the Lord. We're going to hate sin, hate pride and arrogance and perverse mouth. We're going to obey God. You, His saints, there is no one to those who fear Him. Let us believe God together that we will not lack anything. He is our provider. We have more than enough to do every good thing. Father, we fear you. And we believe in your promises for those who fear you, that you shall meet our needs. We shall, Lord, bless us, give everything that we need in our life. We will not be in lack, be in poverty. We will not broke. We will have more than enough to do every good thing. Bless my brother and sister, Lord. Pour out your blessing. Pour out your strength, your wisdom, your favor, your great thing upon them. They will have more than enough to do every good thing, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm chapter 34, verse 10. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Father, we together, and my brothers and sisters, will lack no good thing, Lord. You shall provide us more than enough good things, including favor, wisdom, good friends, good connection, open door, good job, good health, Lord, strength, all kind of good things from heaven. Lord, we want to be faithful in serving you, giving tithe to you, Lord. And we will do everything with the best and excellent quality, Lord, to build your kingdom, Lord. And at the same time, we will not get hungry. We will not lack any good thing, Lord. We seek your face, Lord. We promise you we're going to go to church. We're going to read the Bible. We pray. We get involved in the ministry, Lord. And you will take care of us, Lord. We will not lack any good thing, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. And my brother and sister will experience that, Lord. God promised us to take care of the righteous and listen to their prayers. And we are righteous because we repent easily. We receive the righteousness from Jesus who died on the cross for us. And he will answer our prayer and take care of us. Psalm 34 verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. Father, we declare and believe every time we pray, you pay attention to what we ask you. And you take care of us, Lord, because we are righteous people. We repent of our sin. We are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we are taken care by you, Lord. We will not lack any good thing, Lord. Take care of my brother and sister, Lord. Help them to walk righteously, Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the truth of God in the Bible, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 34, verses 17 to 18. Righteous people cried out, and the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who whose hearts are humble. He saved those whose spirit are crushed. Father, you rescue us. You help us. We want to be humble toward you. You save us. Lord, save my brother and sister. They repent. They are humble toward you. They are righteous people. 
Help them, save them, heal them from their sickness, Lord. Save them from financial difficulty, from debt, from addiction, from family problem. Lord, move your mighty hand and save them and help them. Listen to their cry, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We believe and declare God answer our prayer. Psalm chapter 34, verse 19. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from all of them. Lord, you are the God of deliverance. You're going to deliver us from anything that comes against us, Lord. The mountains in our life, we command the mountain to be removed. We ask God of deliverance, God of breakthroughs to help us, Lord. Lord, whatever my brother and sister are facing right now, you give them deliverance, you give them victory and breakthroughs in Jesus' name, and you get all the glory, Lord, and they will love you more. They will experience your goodness, your power, your grace, and your favor, Lord. Lord, we thank you so much for answering our prayer according to your promises, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, God is good. I'm so glad we pray together, and I believe God answered our prayers. And I'm so happy that you join with me in praying together. And please subscribe to our channel. Please click like and the notification bell. And we have many teachings also in Facebook of New Hope International Church, also in Instagram, New Hick, Instagram, N-E-W-H-I-C, and also New Hope International Church, TikTok. God bless you. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you indeed. Amen. Thank you for listening to the whole teaching. I believe that the Lord has spoken to you. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17, all scripture is God's breath and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. I believe you will put the word of God into practice and you will do every good work for the kingdom of God, and the Lord will bless you. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in other teachings. Please subscribe and click like in our channel. God bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that you are healed from sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, your curses are broken. You are free from the bondage and you will be filled with the blessing of Abraham that will overtake you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the poverty have to leave you and God's blessing come upon you. May the Lord shower into your life His grace, His blessing, His joy, His faith, His goodness, his favor and you shall know the Lord your God in the intimate way you will be the people of faith that the Lord will answer your prayer and God will get all the glory I command that the mountain in your life must be made flat and you shall have supernatural breakthroughs in your life the provision the healing the victory of the kingdom of God shall follow you shall be his witness in this generation. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jehoshua Hamachim.